Ah, it's been about two weeks since I've been off YouTube. There's been incredible storms here in California. There's flooding everywhere. It's been absolutely impossible to go hiking or to do anything like that. So for the last two weeks, I've been doing my marathon training and here's how it's been going. I gotta tie my shoe real quick. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna see what I've been doing for the last two weeks in my marathon training. In 63 days, I will attempt to run the six hardest marathon on earth. These marathon check-in videos are to document my journey and to help you learn from my successes and failures. It's time to dig deep and put in some miles. Good morning, we're about 11 weeks out from the Catalina Marathon. Um, I'm not a big fan of running on a treadmill. However, I'm really not a big fan of running in storms. There's 40 mile per hour winds today. It's super stormy and I'm gonna run five miles on the treadmill. Uh, I hate running on the treadmill. So two weeks ago I ran five miles and I was only able to keep it at 5.5, which is like, I don't know, 10 and a half minute mile, something like that for five miles. Today I was able to do it at 6.5, which is a nine minute, 13 second mile. I definitely run a lot faster outdoors, but still, Big improvement in two weeks. Good morning. We're gonna get hydrated this morning. We're gonna fuel up and then go for a 10 mile run. The Catalina Island Marathon is a cupless course, which means they'll give you fluid. You just have to bring your own cups. So this run was to really test out the 18 ounce Nathan handheld water bottle. And it was a success. I really liked it. Admittedly, I pushed myself a little too hard on this run and felt a little tired. Realistically, how I'm feeling, we just went to Costco, we got some lunch. I'm feeling pretty tired. I never take naps, so I'm gonna go home and take a nap. I'm learning a lot on this training, like... So up until this point, I've pretty much been waking up, having a couple cups of coffee, and then going and doing my workouts. And from now on, 90 minutes before my runs, I'm gonna have fuel and electrolytes. Number two, I am not getting enough protein. Protein is what helps your muscles recover, and I'm just not getting enough of it, so I need to start making sure I'm getting more protein. And number three, I am not doing leg workout and speed training on the same day. I did that once, if you guys have been following along, and it was a huge mistake. It took me way too long to recover. And in addition to that, I'm definitely big on hot Epsom salt baths, and I got myself a massage gun. And not just any massage gun, this baby's built for horses. All right, I'm about to go in the gym and do a total body fitness workout and a five mile run on the stupid treadmill because it's super stormy outside. Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, 2023. Today was strength training day. Blasted legs, blasted upper body, and little cross training. Did a little over 20 miles on the bike. This day I had a bento box with California rolls and chicken teriyaki for a post-run workout. We then went over to Fleet Feet where I got my feet 3D mapped and they showed me the best shoes for my foot. I did end up getting the New Balance 1080 V12 shoes. They are $170 currently. Yeah, I've always gone kind of cheap for running shoes, like 40, 50, maybe $60. But I'm taking this race so seriously that I really started thinking about it and I'm like, that's so stupid. These shoes are what's on your feet. This is what you're on for hours at a time on these runs. Your body is taking a toll. Of course you want nice shoes. So, just got out of the gym, getting some gas. I tested out these New Balance 1080 V12. They're like $170 shoes. Um, I don't know, they say to go half a size up because your feet swell and stuff like that. I've never done that for running before. And in all honesty, only running three miles on the treadmill, I started to feel like I was getting a blister on my left foot, which has never happened to me ever in running. I did go back and exchange them for the size down. I did find out that these shoes do run long. So for any of you out there that are looking at the shoe, keep that in mind. So as you guys may or may not know, I am an ambassador for Teton Sports. I also am trying to be an ambassador for Element Electrolytes. But so far, they're pretty much like, we've got our eye on you, but not right now. However, they keep sending me free stuff, so I don't know. I just got home, and look at this. Look at the size of this box. What did they send me? They sent me an Element Electrolytes tumbler, watermelon salts, and some raspberry salts. These are my favorite. 
Thanks, Element Electrolytes. Got stuck carrying stickers with me. The ASBCA, there's some people here at Sam's Club, and they were like, hey, you want to help out? And I was like, I just adopted the oldest dog in a shelter, and they took a picture of my sweatshirt. They said they're going to check out the video. Went to the Sam's Club because they are selling Teton Sports backpacks. I hate that this place. Don't auto play. Stop. Hondo's infotainment center suck. I'm in Sam's Club, Sacramento, California, and look at what they're selling. Only the best backpacks on earth. In addition to my running shoes, I now wear compression socks on long runs. I also have a running shirt and running shorts. I'm getting pretty serious. I am a runner. In addition to proper nutrition, sleep, Epsom salt baths, a great way to recover is stretching. I don't stretch before runs, but I definitely stretch after. I probably stretch about 30 minutes every evening now. Friday, January 6, 2023. Just got in a 10.27 mile run. Average pace, 9.19, feeling strong. Since doing all this long distance training, I am finding myself to be losing weight. Quick check in with Bear, he is doing awesome. And of course, Sergeant Tibbs is living his best life. And fret not, all my new videos are not gonna be just marathon training. The only reason I'm doing it right now is because all these storms, it's making it impossible to get outside. This morning being an exception, in a couple hours, the atmospheric river is gonna hit us again. Santa Cruz is getting absolutely destroyed right now. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Actually, I shouldn't